On September 12, 2008, Metrolink 111 was stopped at Chasworth Station. The train had 222 passengers and an engineer named Robert M. Sanchez. And he was at the controls of F-59PH locomotive number 855. Behind were two bi-level coaches and a bi-level cab car. The train was stopped at Chasworth for another train, a Union Pacific local. That train had, was way overpowered with only 17 cars and two Model 70 locomotives from EMD, those being Union Pacific SD-70 Aces 8485 and 8491, and behind them were center beams, box cars, etc. Then, out of nowhere, the, the Metrolink departs Chasworth for no reason. and the Union Pacific was still in front of them. After that, nothing could be done to save them from the oncoming train. It was a single track, so that meant no crossovers. Not much happened after. The Union Pacific just entered a tunnel. And as it was going through, the Metrolink was rounding a blind corner. The Union Pacific exited the tunnel, and to their surprise, the, the Metrolink was charging at them through a blind corner. They had almost no time to react, but they at least threw on their emergency brakes, hoping for the best, but it was too late. The two trains smash into each other, and the local and Metrolink are both destroyed. The force of the collision causes 8485 to lift up and then tip over and smash, causing the F-59PH to telescope into the first car. The F-59PH is completely sandwiched and was totally destroyed. 8491 was stopped so sudden that the cars behind it had crushed its cab. 8485 suffered severe damage after falling from such a height and was also severely damaged. The engineer of the Metrolink was killed. Along the engineer were 24 passengers on board the Metrolink. In the end, the three engines from both trains were all damaged and or burned beyond repair and scrapped. Since Metrolink had a good safety record, other than the Glendale that happened three years ago, Everyone was scratching their heads. Why? They couldn't retrieve Robert Sanchez's phones, but found evidence that he was texting while on duty. This is illegal nowadays. And you shouldn't have your phone while driving a train. So in conclusion, he was distracted. He was texting a rail fanner about hotspots to rail fan at. And he texted him for the last time one minute before the collision. One of the survivors 
of Glendale died in Chasworth. Very ironic, to say the least. The first car of the Metrolink was completely sheared and was totally destroyed and was sent away to be scrapped along with the three locomotives. <laughs>